This call is from a federal prison. All of us have been in prison to some degree. Whether it's a financial prison, whether you've been at a dead-end job, whether you've been in a relationship for an extended period of time that you wanted to get out of, all of us have been incarcerated in some way, shape, or form. You don't necessarily have to have a nine-digit federal registration number in order to be doing time. So I grew up Section 8, food stamps, welfare, Medi-Cal sticker baby, right? Nothing was given, never put on a pair of pants, a shirt, jacket, nothing that wasn't sponsored by either welfare state or crack sales. So what do you mean, so you won't really go for it? The issue wasn't that we didn't take it serious. The issue was that the schools didn't take us serious. They don't try to teach us no, no kind of curriculum that applies to what we're going at all. Let's just be honest about it. There is this mythology about that's how you, you know, show your heart, that's how you show you're a man. Young men are struggling to try and understand how can I be a man in this time and in this place and what's the right way for me to behave. Get some help. Oh man, you taking handouts. No, I'm fulfilling my needs until I can do better. This ain't an all time. I'm not finna stay at this level. This is a stepping stone. And I think that how we break out of those prisons is greater than the prisons that we're in. How we leave those relationships, how we have the courage to walk away from that job that doesn't seem to be giving us upward mobility, how we shake from those friends who seem to have us, you know, paralyzed from our creativity, so on and so forth. That's, that's the beauty of freedom. And that's, you know, that's what I want to leave our audience with.